Well, didn't he answer? Where has Asdair gone? He didn't come home last night. I wonder if something has happened. I'm afraid that Basir dog might do something. Oh, God forbid, Mother. Don't even think such things. You know bad news travels fast, and we would have been informed. Where has that boy gone, then? What if he went after that girl? You must be kidding. Ejdair is proud, you know. He wouldn't run after a girl who sent him divorce papers. And you will see. This is over. I disagree. I believe that Nagme and Uncle will make peace. Shh. You really need to learn to mind your own business. The girl has sent papers for divorce, so tell me how they can make peace. Don't you ever watch the movies? First they fight and then they fall in love. Don't speak all this nonsense, Daphne. Now shut up or I'll give you a beating. And learn to mind your own business. Eshter. Eshter, darling, where are you? Hey, Mom. Why didn't you answer your phone? We were all worried. Nothing happened to you. You're okay, right? Don't you worry. I'm fine. Where are you, and when are you coming home? I will come. But after I shop for the wedding. Wedding? What wedding? Oh, look, come over here. Tell Ali and Tayyar to start. Start the preparations now. Hey, come here. Oh, look how sweet you are. My wedding is tonight. I, I don't understand. What are you saying? Didn't the girl leave yesterday? Weren't the divorce proceedings started? Just do what I tell you. Come here. <laughs> what? Uh, Grandmother, her cat, are, are you, you okay? okay? Mother, what happened? Uh, Daphne, get uh, some water. Uh, I'm fine. Uh, uh, Calm down. Just uh, relax. What uh, wedding is Edster talking about? So did they make peace? Oh. Uh, but goodness, uh, things were bad enough uh, when the divorce papers were being filed. Uh, when do they both make up? Uh, oh no, this isn't good at all. We just can't get rid of her. Uh, uh, <laughs> You've wasted your time coming here. Because I am not giving my consent to this. Oh, come on, Mom. Edgter, I warned you about this. And I know. Everything happened suddenly. We sat at the wedding table without telling you. But give us a chance to fix our mistake. I have come here to ask your permission. You are both kidding me, right? You have come here to ask my permission? You have ruined my daughter's future. You have prevented her going to Paris. You got married in such a rush and then held her captive. If you love her like you say you do, you could at least wait until she's finished school. Mrs. Nevin, I have fallen in love with her. How could I think of sending her? There is no point in even talking to you. You already got married. Do you even care what I think? If you do, then you should listen. You cannot be happy together. I'll tell you why. Your worlds are different from each other. You cannot understand what I am telling you. One day your love will crash with the reality. On that day you'll understand what I'm saying. Not that you even bothered to ask before. As I said, there is no point in this. Listen, that is enough. You can either accept this marriage or you can fight it. It is your decision. I invite you to my wedding as your daughter. And if you want to come, then come. Then here is my decision! I'm not coming! As you wish.